Well, I woke up this morning to a uh, pretty cold house here. As you can tell, it's 62 degrees. I now have the thermostat set on 60. But the bigger issue is that I woke up to a very loud whirring noise coming from my furnace. Uh, my body intuitively heard it kick on, not as normal, and that's what woke me up. I'm gonna give you that noise here to see if you have the same uh, with your furnace. I actually have a heat pump, but the blower motor is the same and we're going to try to diagnose and troubleshoot and I'll let you know what I find out in order to help you out hopefully as well. So what I'm going to do now is kick the uh, thermostat above the temperature of 62 to turn on the blower motor. And you may be able to hear that whirring noise already. We'll walk around to the furnace here. I already have the housing off. Here's the blower motor housing blower motor is in there and you may be able to hear that large whirring noise. The uh, blades are trying to spin. I've done some preliminary research. I don't know if you can see those fins in there barely moving at all. But they're not moving uh, fully and so it's possibly this capacitor uh, right here. I will learn how to test that and go from there. But if you have that sound, we're going to uh, learn about this together and fix this hopefully together if you uh, are going to fix it on your own. So again, those fins in there, you probably can't see very well. That is the sound that I woke up to, so what we're going to do now is just kick the thermostat down below the actual temperature of the house and kick that off. Time to troubleshoot. Alright, here's where we're currently at. We have our capacitor still attached, but uh, taken off the side here. And just took off the uh, one bolt there. This folds down. Here's our capacitor, thankfully, yeah, you can still read the uh, limits that it has, 10 microfarads, 370 volts, and plus or minus 6%, so we're going to test that right now. Hopefully it's just something as simple as that, could be the motor itself, but we're going to find out little by little. Again, thanks for the other helpers out there online, the research that's readily available. Uh, make sure you're safe, we did take a, a metal thing and go across these terminals to de-energize it. All right, at this point, we have fully removed the motor uh, with the squirrel cage and the capacitor. We have determined that is bad. Did some capacitor testing, pretty easy. Just uh, Google it there on YouTube or, you know, search in the YouTube function. Called a couple of motor shops. Excuse me, like my uh, hardwood floors, ha. So here's the uh, entire unit. Uh, pretty old, 26 years old, and uh, the motor just does not spin. The, uh, or it spins, however the motor does not whir up. So obviously filthy, dirty, doubt that's the exact issue. Probably gonna go out and spend $100 on a new one and have the whole problem fixed. Good luck on your research, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully we have a fix here in a couple hours. All right, what we figured out is that I had a bad motor. Capacitor was good, but for the price, we went ahead and added a new one. This is us just hooking it up to test it. So there's our wires coming out here to our new capacitor and new motor. The uh, blowing housing fan, blower housing uh, unit, the squirrel unit was still okay. So getting ready to install it, but first have to clean this up. You can tell it's just been ugh, gross for 26 years. This panel was missing, letting all that dust in. But we'll get it all taken care of here. The issue again was a motor, and a motor and capacitor at our local motor store cost $100, half horsepower motor, and uh, should fix the problem. A Little bit of troubleshooting, that's what we found out. Time to put her back together. And it's just put back together with a new capacitor, a new motor, and a very quiet running motor. 
fix for a hundred dollars. Good luck out there. Hope you can fix your own. Oh, and it was cleaned up too. As best it goes, could be expected for a 26 year old. Ed. While you have the unit apart, I highly, highly recommend taking the time to clean it as well before you put it back together. As you'll see here in the next several pictures, this is the condition of my uh, fan motor, the uh, part that's inside the squirrel cage, absolutely caked with dust and dirt. 26 years worth, doesn't it look like it's ever been cleaned? So I took it to a power washer, just visit your local gas station or car wash, spend a couple dollars, and it's metal fins, it could be plastic, but uh, make sure you get these really clean. If you think about it, every square inch of air that comes out of your air vents or registers has to pass through here first. That's what it looks like after it was cleaned. A little bit rusty, but it's not going to affect anything. Also, stick your head up inside the unit. I found some black mold. Again, every piece of air that's going through my house had to pass through there first, so I cleaned that off just under the A-coil. And uh, I'm not going to say it looks like new, but here's my 26-year-old furnace uh, with all the dust removed. Good luck on your project. I hope this video helps. Again, if you have that whirring sound, check your motor, check your capacitor, and you'll be able to fix it for probably the charge of a service call.